So let's try to find stuff on Drupal.org. Now, when you're on the home page, uh, up in the header, there's a, a huge search box. So that is obviously a good place for us to start. We can refine the search according to sort of a general category of the kind of results we would like. Um, but for this, I'm just gonna put in my search term um, and, and search all. And uh, you'll see we get a whole bunch of results uh, for booking system here. And if you look at the results, it actually identifies sort of what kind of category it is. So this is a group, um, but underneath here, these are projects. And uh, you'll find that it does that regardless of how we slice and dice. So um, uh, if I want to, and here's how I can, you know, filter over here. If I want to look at just documentation, um, that tells me that these are all book pages uh, and it tells me the number of comments, if there are comments. Forums and issues, again, those are two different kinds of things. Issue is in the issue queue, um, and then forum topic is in our general uh, chat forums. Um, but they're combined here, but you can still see the difference in the results. The modules uh, filter is really great because you can actually slice and dice a bit more. So uh, I only want things for 7x, say, uh, and then it'll automatically reload the search results page with that filter enabled. There's also status. Um, so full projects are the ones that are listed on Drupal.org and projects. Um, sandbox projects are code that people are working on, but they don't feel like it's a, a full release that is you know, necessarily usable by everybody. So if you want to get experimental stuff, you can look in sandboxes. And then of course you can sort. Um, most installed is a common uh, sort that people use. You get the same sort of filtering available to you um, for themes when you filter by themes. So filtering by themes and modules lets you sort of break things down a little bit. Um, now you'll notice I don't have all my filters back. So if we come back a page here, now I have my the rest of my stuff. Now if I click on groups, um, you'll see there's a lot of groups listed, um, but not all of them apply to booking systems really right? So like a help system is really nothing to do. It's using the word system, but not the word booking. So if I want to be really specific in my search, I can just add quotes around my search term, uh, redo the search. And now you can see that my, my search results are m much more limited. Um, so that's, you know, again, just like any other search that you, you use on Google, say, or something like that, you can, you can limit or open it up depending on how you uh, word your search term. Now we also have some advanced options down here under outside of the regular filters. You see this advanced issues. So we have forms and issues in the normal search filters, uh, which just shows me things that are in the issue queue. The advanced issues link here actually takes me to the issue queue search form um, and gives you a lot more flexibility in how you search for issues. So instead of just being a text thing that comes through uh, on this main search page and lists things, you can actually do things like limit by, uh, you know, version or component in, in Drupal and those kinds of things. So advanced issues, if you're really looking for stuff in the issue queue, that really is the place that you want to be rather than this uh, just sort of regular text search uh, with filtering. So I can go back to using some, some other search, uh, mechanisms here, but I'll go back to my main search page. We have IRC NICs and users search as well. So I'm going to do this IRC NIC. Now booking system is not a good IRC NIC probably, but add one son say as somebody I've seen an IRC I've spoken to and I want to check out. Um, so I can search for their IRC NIC and actually go to their profile page and, uh, and get in touch with them if I want to. If I was logged in, I could probably use their contact form for for myself, but um, it's a, a way for you to actually find people who you have been working with or want to get in touch with or a module maintainer or something like that. Um, you can do a quick search on their username or their IRC nickname if they put that information in their account. Uh, and one last thing I want to point out is uh, the main search box, those uh, refinement things disappear, but this little link would open those back up again if I wanted to start a whole new search on Drupal.org um, under the various categories. I hope that helps orient you a little bit better and uh, makes uh, finding the information you need on Drupal.org a little bit easier.